Welcome to Our Lord Elon. It's the first episode of that one. Behind me we have, of course I still love you, Go Searcher, Go Mystery, Miss Chief, and Miss Tree. All SpaceX vehicles. We are here to talk about the Cybertruck today. As of the 27th of November, pre-orders have hit 250,000 plus vehicles, meaning it's not just for cyber girls, but it's for humans too. The future is now, change is here. It is time for a new dawn for humanity and the Earth. Clean, sustainable energy, colonization of the moon and planets, protection of Mother Earth and her inhabitants, end of oil and plastic waste, clean oceans. That is what I see when I look at the Cybertruck. A future for Earth and humanity to coexist. I am a car guy. I love the way a nice engine rumbles and sounds, but it's a passing era, and I'm tired of the constant need to fuel my daily driver with dirty fossil fuels that pollute the air as I just go to the store and back. Plus, fossil fuels really help to lighten the wallet constantly. The Cybertruck allows me to have a clean, sustainable daily driver without the need for money-hungry, dirty fossil fuels. I'll keep my fossil fuels for the track. Ah, that is, until at least I can convert the 720 and 240 into electric. The new Cybertruck is on par for size with its competitors, coming in at 5.88 meters long, 2.02 meters wide, and 1.9 meters tall. Six seats and a 1.98 meter bed called the Vault. The Vault has an integrated toddle cover that quickly rolls in and out with the touch of a button. The Vault is 100 cubic feet of secure storage when the tunnel cover is deployed. Brilliantly, the tunnel cover may even have an option for solar panels to be added allowing it to have a recharge of 24 plus kilometers of range per day. No longer are we wasting weight on the body on frame design. Tesla's Cybertruck is built with an exoskeleton body using thick 30 times cold rolled steel that the same that is used on Starship. So cool and exciting this steel is ultra strong, cost efficient and even bulletproof to small arms fire. It is scratch and dent and corrosion resistance. Franz even demonstrated this swinging a sledgehammer against the side of the Cybertruck. Elon and the Tesla family are always working on new and inno innovative ways. They do not even want normal glass in the Cybertruck, instead opting to create armor glass. A transparent metal that is strong enough to stop hard impacts. The team on stage demonstrated the glass by dropping a heavy metal ball from varying heights without damaging the glass, but when tested on the Cybertruck it did not go as planned, as Franz smashed both front and rear passenger windows and Elon stated that, and Elon stated that it didn't go through. Ah, not bad, and room for improvement. Being as this is the first prototype, I think the production version will have this quirk worked out. Elon and his company has learned very well from rapid disassembly. Moving on to the suspension of Cybertruck, they really got this one right with the adaptive air suspension and adaptive ride height that you can control on the fly from inside the cab. The air suspension gives the Cybertruck 406 plus millimeters of adjustable ground clearance combined with 35 degree approach and 28 degree departure angles. The suspension lowers when on the highway for greater efficiency. Hopefully we'll be able to adjust stiffness softness on the fly as well. Payload comes in at 1,587 kilograms on all trim levels of the Cybertruck and 6,350 kilograms of towing on the highest trim level with the tri-motor setup. The dual motor setup, dual motor is capable of 4,536 kilograms while the single motor real wheel drive version is capable of 3,402 kilograms. The suspension will sense the weight of the payload towed vehicle and adjust accordingly. Another impressive feature allows the rear of the Cybertruck to squat lower to the ground, allowing for easier loading, especially with the built-in ramp. Range is very impressive for the, such a large vehicle and BEVs in general. Starting with a single motor rear wheel drive at 400 plus kilometers, the dual motor all wheel drive at 480 plus kilometers, and the tri motor all wheel drive at 800 plus kilometers of range. All the Cybertrucks have charging capability up to 250 plus kilowatts. I love the lights. The signals are tucked between the body and the bumpers on both the front and rear of the Cybertruck. The long headlamp and taillights fit perfectly, in my opinion, to the top. And to top it off, you get that beautiful light bar across the top as well. The cost for the Cybertruck has some astonishing figures attached, matching the cost of ICE trucks on the market today. All Cybertruck trim levels have the option to add autopilot, which includes many features like summon, self-parking, full self-driving, and trailer docking, for a cost of $9,300 Canadian or $7,000 US. The entry-level single-motor rear-wheel drive Cybertruck comes in at $53,000 Canadian or $39,900 US, 
which is amazing. Next up is the dual motor all wheel drive, which is what I ordered at 66,300 Canadian or 49,900 US. And the tri motor all wheel drive is at $91,600 Canadian, 69,900 US. Some other features that were that were and were not mentioned include 110 240 volt charging outlets, rear view, mirror, rear view camera mirror, lightweight dash material, 17 inch infotainment system with a new EUI, six seats, integrated tie downs in the vault area, fog lights, roof fire light, custom Goodyear tires, sensors hidden in the fender fetters for autopilot, pop out door handles, full glass roof, hidden tailgates only visible if the tailgate is down, no mirrors yet, a yoke style steering wheel, vault lighting, air compressor for your tools, a front storage, storage under the floor of the vault, and to put the cherry on top of the Cybertruck, Elon and Tesla rolled out the Cyber Quad. Available as an accessory to the Cybertruck, though no details have been released on the Cyber Quad yet. Other possibilities may include a camping addition with a vault tent and drawers for cooking and storage, storage in the bed sails, and according to a tweet from Tin Dodd to Elon, we might even see a Starship Special Edition using metal from the Mark I that blew its top. I am really personally looking forward to the Cybertruck and I had my order in for a dual motor all wheel drive as soon as the reveal ended and as soon as I can I'm going to add that Cyber Quad. I also added Autopilot because why own a Tesla without Autopilot? Thank you for watching and learning about the Cybertruck here with me at Port Canaveral along with the SpaceX ships. And I look forward to hearing what you have to say down below in the comments. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and a subscribe if you're feeling really nice. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you later, everybody. Bye, SpaceX.